Hello everyone, my name is Prashant and the topic for today's video is Boto3 Waiters. This video is a result of my blog post and I will share the link of this blog post in the description of this YouTube video. So without wasting any time, let's understand waiter concept in simple language. So first thing is, if you go to the official documentation for Boto3, there it is mentioned that waiter uses a client service operation to pull the status of an AWS resource and suspend execution until the AWS resource reaches a state that the waiter is polling and blah, blah, blah. So let's try to understand that in terms of a simple language. So first thing is, uh, let me go to Boto3, uh, again, the official page and look for a service called EC2 and then click on resource. Okay. At the same time, let me go to my AWS management console, click on EC2. Okay. And here you see that I have one instance, which is in stop state. So what I'm going to do here is I will try to bring up this instance and that I'm going to do it with the help of a Boto3. So let's go here and let's start writing the code. So first thing is I'm going to import the Boto3 library. Okay. And then I'm going to use resource. To connect to my EC2, right? Now, if you do not understand what exactly the resource is, uh, check my video, uh, which is, uh, I shared in the description of this uh, video link where I explained the concept of our introduction to Boto. Okay. Now, if you go back to this Boto3 documentation page, and this is a service resource. So if you go down and here you will see something called instance. Okay. So under instance, once this page loads up, I think instance uh, still no okay so this one so instance equal to ec2 dot instance dot id so let me go here so what exactly I'm trying to do uh, I'm trying to connect to this instance and I will supply the EC2 instance ID, which I will get it from here. Okay. Now I don't know what are the other operations I can do on the top of it. Either I can check it here in that page, this one, or I can use a dir method on the top of it so i can use dir okay and here you see a bunch of actions which are supported out of which for example this reboot state stop and there you can see somewhere start okay so first let's try to check the state of this instance So it is in stop state and because it's a dictionary, if you want a more fine grain output, you can do it like this, right? So it is in stop state. So earlier we have saw that we can start, we have a start method. So to start this instance, I can simply do instance dot start. Okay. And before doing that, let me write some print statement. We'll say starting EC2 instance. And once this has been started, I will say EC2 instance started. Okay. Let me execute this code. 
and he'll say starting EC2 instance, EC2 instance started. Now, if I go back to my AWS management console, refresh this, it will say this instance is still in pending state. And this is one of the major issue, right? So as you can see, when we try to stop or start the instance, the request which we are not stop, when we try to start the instance, the request is not instant, okay? Because the instant instance first goes from stop to pending state, and then later it will go to the running state, right? And for example, like in this case, we check back later and see that now that my instance is in running state. So my instance was in stop state. We ran that instance.start, right? And the instance does not go immediately into started state, right? Or start state. It first goes to pending state. Now think of the cases where I am relying my instance to be fully up. So my instance to be fully up, right? And once the instance is up, I will execute some script on the top of it. Some script, right? Now in this case, my script output shows that the instance is up, but actually the instance is not up, right? It takes some, it took some time for the instance to go into the, from, from pending state to the start state, right? So that is where waiters comes out handy. What waiter will do, it allows you to block the code until the process is complete. So what does I mean? Let me go here. And once again, let me print this DIR of instance. So if you scroll down, you will see something called wait until exist, wait until running, wait until stopped, wait until terminated. Okay. So these are the waiters. And under the hood, what exactly this is going to do? This is going to run a loop which runs every five seconds in a loop of 40 times. So that means it will constantly check if my instance will be started. So that means for 200 seconds, which is roughly, which is 320 seconds. And if our instance does not comes to a start state, even after this like uh, 40 loops, uh, the script exited unsuccessfully. Okay, so let bring waiter into equation. Now you see that my instance is in running state. So let me ex uh, run the same script, but this time for stop. Let's try to bring to stop this instance. Okay, I will change the wording to starting to stop, stopping EC2 instance. EC2 instance stop, but let bring waiter into the equation again this time. So we can use instance dot wait until stopped. Copy this. Okay. Now execute the script. So stopping EC2 instance. Now you see that my prompt does not come back immediately. It is waiting. And this is where waiter is blocking our code. And this is only going to execute this print statement once uh, the instance reached to absolute stopped state. So again, it is going in loop and it is going to check every five seconds, 40 times to see if my instance goes to a completely stop state. So now the script exited successfully. And if I go back to my AWS management console, my instance should be in the stopped state. So this is the advantage of using waiters. Okay. So this waiter I showed you for resource. Similarly, we can use waiters for client. So let me write another code. Okay. And, but this time we are going to use waiters for client. So let me do this. 
we'll start a new python file waiter for client okay waiter for client uh, i will again start with import go to three okay now again my instance is in stop state so i'm going to search for waiter for client where i'm going to start the instance so again, I will go back to available services, EC2, and here we have waiters. And you see, we have EC2 waiter when the instance is running. Okay, so let me use the client resource this time. Client is equal to boto3 dot uh, client, and the service name is okay let me copy paste the code from there from the official documentation in this case the waiter is waiting for the instance to be running okay waiter we are going to use the client right get waiter and the instance is running we need to write some more code in case of client so we need to use waiter dot wait and we need to supply the instance id instance id this one let me close it okay but before that i need to start my instance so again go back here ec2 for client and you will see something down called start instances somewhere we have a code for start instances right so it's simple the code is start dot instance and the instance id so, so i can do client dot start instance right instance and let's apply that instance id which is this one let's close this let's close this and even we need to supply the instance id here in the case of beta okay and i will again write that syntax This time we are st starting the EC2 instance. So we will say print starting EC2 instance. And similarly, we will write once this has been done EC2 instance start. Okay. So let me execute this code. I will say Python 3, waiter for client. And again, it is starting the EC2 instance. If I go back here, my instance is in pending state. My script is still executing. So that means the waiter is blocking the code until this process is completed. And I don't know why I'm going constantly over there. And once the instance is up, my script will be executed successfully and exited successfully. So it is still in pending state. Still pending still pending still the script is executing still in pending state now it's running okay so let's wait for the waiter to come out okay. now it's come out and the ec2 instance started so if we see the waiter for resource and waiter for client now the question is what is the difference between the waiter for resource and waiter for client so one of the major differences like we discussed earlier in a case of a resource the loops runs every five seconds in a loop of 40 times but in case of a client this loops runs every 15 seconds that's why you see that we need to wait a little longer in a loop of 40 times so that means 600 seconds 
and 10 minutes. So in case if you are dealing with a kind of an instances where it takes some time to bring up that instance, for example, after the instance is up, it's going to execute a bunch, a bunch of script or if we are using something, uh, a software which is a little bit of bulky, then in that case you can use this client waiter. Okay. And especially I see in some situation people used to prefer client waiter as compared to the instance uh, resource waiter. Okay. Also, the good news is you can even mix and match. So which means you can use resource to start your instance. And you can use a client to client waiter to, uh, to wait till your instance is up. So this will give you the benefit of both the world. So you use resource so that your instance will come quickly. Uh, means you don't need to put much effort. For example, you don't need to pass a dictionary and all those things. And you can use client waiter, which will going to wait for 10 minutes. So how to do that? I'm not going to write the code for that. I already pushed that code into my GitHub repository, but let me show you. So if you go to my GitHub repository, which is 100 days of DevOps, there is something called resource and client waiter. So if I go to the raw format and do this, here you see I'm using both the resource as well as the client, right? And here I'm using a resource object, EC2. See, I'm using EC2 rather than EC2 CLI. I'm starting the instance using instance.start, but then I'm using waiter for client, which is instance running, which we have just used it, this instance running. And then I'm using this waiter.wait. So I'm getting the benefit of both the world. I'm using the resource as well as the client. Client for waiters, client waiters, and resource for starting up the instance. Okay. So that is all about waiters. Waiters is not only restricted for EC2, you can use it for other services like S3 and there are a bunch of waiters for each and every service. So if you go here, you will see the waiters for other services. For example, DynamoDB waiters, DogDB waiters, okay? And database migration service waiters. So waiters are available, available for a bunch of the AWS services. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks.